The theme for my street photography over the next three months will be Oslo metro stations. We are going to take line 5 of the Oslo metro all the way to the end stop and make our way back stop by stop. In retrospect, that plan was not a great plan. Let's talk about managing expectations when we are out shooting. And I'll show you the photos I got from this three hour session. But first, everyone's favorite topic, gear. I'm using my Sony A7 Mark IV with the 24-105 f4.0, which is a great setup for street photography. When we're out shooting, a plan is great to have. My idea for this session was to visit all the stops on line 5 of the Oslo Metro to get great images. I did get a few good ones, but the idea of filming this video POV style for you guys and make it interesting with cool images, that's when I realized I'd set my expectations way too high. To get through all these stops, I couldn't very well spend hours on end. So if I saw the potential, but let's say the conditions of each stop weren't the best, I just took some test shots for future reference and then I could immediately go back there the next time I was out or the next time when the conditions were good or as I had imagined for that stop. I get all excited when I've planned a street photo session. I set my expectations high especially when I've been to the spots I'm planning on visiting before, and I know it has good potential under some circumstances. And by that I mean the circumstances these spots had the last time I visited. I trapped myself with the idea that this day would be exactly the same. One location can look entirely different from, let's say, an overcast day to a sunny day. You can get completely different vibes to an image, and that's one thing that I really love about street photography. Lesson learned, roll with the punches. Deciding on an area is a great idea. Just remember to go there with an open mind in terms of conditions like weather, light, crowd and everything else that is random anyway. That is after all the essence of street photography, capturing interesting randomness, working with the current conditions. Here are my favorite images from this session. After dealing with my own expectations, realizing this session wouldn't be like the last time I visited, everything seemed to fall into place, and the process became so much more enjoyable. And that's also the point for me doing street photography. To get out, find random interesting moments, create images, and sometimes I get something, other times I get nothing. But at least I get to go out and work on the project. I've also noticed every time I leave the house with no expectations at all. I'm almost always positively surprised by what I get. Pressure is sometimes good, especially if you're working for a client. But in my opinion, not in street photography. You should be switched on, yes, but not feel pressured that you have to make the greatest image. It just doesn't work like that. What works is to go out on a regular basis, enjoy the process and try to find some new interestingness every time. That's a great way to get better. Every photographer is different in how he or she approach their photography. So what's your take on managing expectations? Let us know in the comments. That would be really interesting to know. I hope this encouraged you to go out in your own city, wherever that may be, and explore with a camera. Remember, I always say that every day with a camera has the potential to be a small adventure. And as always, if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, if you've come this far, please do and leave a like on this video. That helps me make more and better content for you. And Believe it or not, it makes a difference. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.